Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now I will be introducing another magnetic sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. As you can know, uh, you can see clearly that it's a plus minus sixteen Gauss three axis magnetic sensor, and these are some of its features which you can notice on the screen also. Also you can have the opportunity to purchase the uh, sensor from this very site, right from here. I will be interfacing the magnetic sensor MMC3316 XMT with the Raspberry Pi and a Java code and for that uh, go to the resource tab and here comes the Java code sample. Now you can download the Java code sample as a zip file from here from this very site and you can also have the code from github.com and the repository there is control everything community. Now what do we need is some hardware so that we can make some connections to work out this sensor. Now in the hardware setup first of all we require a Raspberry Pi and these are the GPR pins of the Raspberry Pi. Next we require an I2C shield which you are able to see on my screen and this is easily available on the website controleverything.com. The reason we are using this is to make connections with other I2C devices and the connection should be a lot easy so that's why we are using it. Now the next part is to place the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Now what do we require next is our magnetic sensor that is MMC3316 XMT and a connecting cable is also required. Now make a connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C shield. Now the next part is to provide uh, power so we need a micro USB cable just like that and gently insert it over the power jack of Raspberry Pi. The final part is to provide an internet connection and for that there are two ways. First of all this is an ethernet cable or LAN cable and gently put it over the ethernet jack. It's done. Now the next part is to provide the internet connection via a second medium that is a wireless USB nano adapter which you can use and it might save your day also. So there are two ways and we are done with that and overall the connections are these total connections. Now what do we need is to have a look over the code so that we can interface it with the sensor. Let's have it. Now for the interfacing purpose we require to achieve or uh, find the code which is the Java code and for that we have to log in to github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community and here we are and after that we have to search for the sensor that is MMC3316 XMT and this is the Java code we are looking forward to have a look over but before that let's have a view over the instructions we need to follow. It says that we have to download and install Pi4J library on the Raspberry Pi and Pi4J.com is the uh, link which will help us to have the installation purpose for Pi4J library and the relevant information uh, commands are there. Please note them down carefully to install the library and after that this is the command to compile and this to run the java code. Note them down also and then we have to proceed to the code as you can see it's a dot java extension file. Uh, when you go back or uh, when you come back uh, to the code as you can see you can notice uh, we have to import some of the libraries for the Pi4J as you can see and we have to create a public class named mmc 316 xmt now here we have to bus.get device that is ux 30 which is the address of the sensor. Then after that we have the writing commands which says that we have to select control register having address 0x07 and sending the command to take measurement continuous mode and coil set that is 0x23. After that we have to select control register 0x07 and the command here is coil not set which goes for 0x00. After that the last writing command is to select control register that is 0x07 and sending the command to take measurement continuous mode and coil reset that is 0x43. After so many writing commands we want to get the data back from the sensor that's the reading part and we are reading 6 bytes of data from the register 0x00 and it consists of the perpendicular axis magnetic field data x, y and z axis. So this is how after that uh, we have the conversion of the data into 14 bits which is according to the guidelines or the description of the formulas provided in the datasheet for MMC3316XMT. 
At the very end of our code, we have the output to be displayed on the screen, which is the magnetic field in x, y, and z axis. And let me tell you, these are the real values which can be positive, can be negative, depending upon the magnetic field at that present time. So this is how a code looks like. Now let's see how uh, it will look when it's working. Let's see it. Now coming in the working environment, the first thing to do is to copy this entire code of the Java as you can see. Now open up the terminal of the Raspberry Pi via internet and here create your file name uh, with this part as you can see and here we have to paste the entire code and then we have to save the code as you can see on my screen and this is the command for compilation and here we go and the code is being compiled now this is to run the code as you can see we have the magnetic field for all three perpendicular axes that the x y and z axis and you can notice the values are almost constant but when I bring a magnetic bar a bar magnet as you can see the value changes now similarly when I run the command again the value changes as I move the bar magnet in different directions regarding uh, the sensor yeah that's correct this is how it responds so what do we need is to show the applications and the benefits and the features regarding the magnetic sensor MMC 3316XMT let's have it the MMC 3316XMT is a complete 3 axis magnetic sensor with on chip signal processing and integrated I2C bus the device can be connected directly to a microprocessor eliminating the need for A to D converters or timing resources it can measure magnetic fields with a full scale range of plus minus 16 gauss with 2 milligauss per LSB resolution and 2 milligauss RMS noise, enabling heading accuracies of less than 1 degree in electronic compass applications. Due to these uh, good features, it's applicable in a uh, lot features like uh, electronic compass, GPS navigation assist, positioning, sensing. This sensor is available and can be purchased from the website control everything.com as you can see and you can have the code from resource tab and you can download this as a zip file from this website you can also have the code and you can download it from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end uh, I just want to make it clear that in case of any part uh, where you have some queries you can reach us on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website like this now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor or video you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials just like this go to our youtube channel and follow them and subscribe it in the end i hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it so thanks a lot for watching